Hi all, Nick Silverstein here, and this is kind of an unexpected video, but today we are going to upgrade this netbook. It's a 532H with an SSD and a 2GB RAM. This is one of the easiest netbooks to upgrade, which is why I'm making this video. I do not upgrade computers that aren't easy to upgrade. Um, I do do it for other people who need it, but I would never do it to my own because, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm afraid I'm going to break something. But when I'm dealing with someone else's computer, I'm always more careful. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, let's get started. So the first thing we gotta do is flip it over. Now I lost all the screws to this netbook. <laughs> There's no screws in the bottom of the netbook. Um, I don't know what happened to them. I lost them. So it's really easy for me to take off this back panel. But normally you remove this screw, this screw, and that screw, and that screw. And then these screws unlock this panel, and this screw unlocks this panel where the RAM is. But this is only applies to this particular netbook. Do not attempt this on other netbooks because other netbooks are really easy to break. So you just pry your screwdriver underneath that and this panel comes off. And you literally just pull on this little tab and then this comes off and here's your hard drive. You have to remove this screw that screw and that screw and that screw I lost two of the screws um, you really only need two screws with a netbook because I mean with an SSD because um, SSDs don't move so um, they're very easy I mean SSDs don't move so there's no reason to hold it in with any more than two screws that's just my advice. Um, but if you had a standard spinning hard drive, you might want to hold it in with more than two screws because um, the you would be able to hold it in better. So basically, you just put the hard drive in this way, the SSD, and put it in like that. Um, it's not really a t tutorial. Um, I mean, I'm trying to make a tutorial here, but don't take all my advice because sometimes you need the screws, but I just lost them. When you put the SSD in this bracket, you have to be aware that the SSD is a lot thinner than the bracket itself. So what you want to do is just be careful when you're putting, when you're screwing it in because you could jam the screw inside of the wrong place um, and that would be bad so once you screw it in all you really need is two screws one on this corner and the other one on this corner that's all you need for an SSD um, and you just literally slide it back in and then let's put the door back on so that we don't lose it. And you don't really need the screws because the thing holds together pretty well without the screws. Um, it kind of clips into place, but eventually those clips will break, so I need to buy some more screws. And to get the, uh, the RAM door out, you just pry it open. And here is the RAM. This is a 1 gigabyte. Uh, PC 5300 I'm going to take it and put in a 2 gigabyte PC 5300 so I will have 2 gigabytes of RAM on here and that's about it and then I'm going to make a tutorial on how to install Windows 10 on a netbook it's not hard at all um, it's not something that's like brain surgery you know if you know what I mean um, uh, this this one is always trickier to get into place 
Oh, come on. Where is it? Fide. I think it's here. And then this door has to go in. It's a little sensitive. It's not so easy to put this door back in. There we go. This is why you need this screw, but uh, it's okay. Now I'm going to turn it on and go into the BIOS to show you that it is upgraded. Alright. I'm not going to boot into anything because I really don't know what's on this SSD. Uh, it's going to go. I have to turn it off. Okay, let's try this again. Try to go into the BIOS. Um, let me point it at the screen and then let me zoom in. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the latest BIOS. Um, and 2048 megs of RAM, security, uh, and Samsung 840 EVO 120 gig. Perfect. So now I'll make another video showing you how to install Windows 10 on this. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Alright, see ya. Peace. Yeah, there's nothing on this SSD. Alright, see ya. Peace.